All the latest info for your Quidditch weekend. Welcome magical people to Zoomon's Wizarding World, your Wizarding Tonight channel with a suburban twist. So this is your TLDR guide to the Quidditch weekend thingy bob. So when I saw this event pop up, I asked myself, surely we have all the Quidditch stuff we need. We've been doing Quidditch events for the last month. Surely we have everything. But of course, that's all brilliant events and you don't really get much real world stuff from them. So this one is going to fill in the gaps. A little. So it turns out upon looking at my registry I actually need quite a few of these foundables uh, which will be spawning. Um, I was quite surprised I thought I had them all but uh, obviously recent prestiging and wacky things with the registry has kind of changed the shape of my registry quite a lot. So we're going to go into the basics and how it works, mechanics, what you can do now, brilliant bundles, the foundables and the tasks and tips and tricks. So this event starts today, May 29th at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 7 p.m. British summer time, which is 6 p.m. UTC, and it finishes at the same time on Monday. Rewards for this one are 200 magical games and sports for Harry XP, three spell books, one potent stimulant potion, 15 spell energy. Uh, so not that much. We have to look at the registry to see if we can get anything from there. How it works? Well, the mechanics. Uh, there are increased spawns of certain Quidditch foundables. Trace Tonic has also been tuned to produce these foundables as well. So it's a very important potion to use. And there's also a set of mediocre tasks with mediocre rewards. So what can you do now? Well, first thing is to brew Trace Tonics uh, to get those spawn rates up. And also extinguish you know, potions if you're running low. I suggest strong and potents uh, because we need to get basically uh, Harry and Hermione, which is the entire point of this event. Also, a few dawdle drafts won't go amiss, especially for those Harrys and Hermiones. You don't want them getting away. We have brilliant bundles. So we have a complimentary bundle with one level one runestone, 50 energy, and that's it. Uh, so, yep, that's there. Uh, there's an SOS bundle with 5 potent extinct lows, 5 level 5 rune stones and 100 spell energy. If you don't have a spell energy problem, which I don't think many people do, and, and if you've got a ton of rune stones like I do, uh, that only leaves you 5 potent extinct lows. Now this thing costs 480 gold, uh, if we were to buy them individually, that's 375. Also if you have all the ingredients, that's 205 coin if you rush them in your cauldron. So either way, uh, unless you really need those rune stones energy, it's not really worth it. So okay, let's look at the foundables. Let's see what is worth it. Um, Chadley Cannon's player. I need five of those to complete my gold page. Uh, I've actually seen increased spawns of the Chadley Cannon player recently anyway. Uh, but anywho, uh, the Quidditch World Cup. I don't need any of those. I've completed that. The only thing I can do is mini prestige slash image rollover slash whatever you want to call it. Um, just to get a few more rune stones. Timbers 2000, I need four. I'm on that bronze page. Quidditch fan Hermione, I need nine on bronze page. And Quidditch captain Harry Potter, I need five. So when you return these foundables, you do get a chance of getting imaginable cool games and sports rune stone dropped. Well, not dropped, you just kind of get it, right? Uh, so it's a little bit like the poacher, um, where you defeat them and then you get an extra thing. Uh, except the poacher was doing really cool things like other fanables that you may or may not need. Uh, and this is just rune stones. So for some bizarre reason, uh, none of the Quidditch stands uh, fanables can be found. Um, as I say, you, you won't be prestiging much because things like Goblet of Fire, you can't get those. I mean, obviously not Quidditch fanable anyway. But uh, that will be blocking you from that page. It's kind of weird, right? Because you would think, being Quidditch event, you would have the Quidditch stand fanables and maybe Harry and Hermione. You think you'd be doing a lot of Quidditch stuff maybe for a Quidditch event. So the tasks, if you're bothered, uh, you do tonic for trace detections, uh, for rune stones, and 800 magical games and sports family XP for a brain elixir, which is yeah, not bad. Uh, use 10 magical games and sports rune stones for snowdrops, return 10 Nimbus 2000s, and return 10 Quidditch fan Hermione Grangers. And return five Quidditch Captain Harry Potters. 
and your rewards for completing all of these are 200 magical games and sports family XP, 3 spell books, which you may or may not still need, uh, 1 potent extremely potion and 15 spell energy. I think basically having the Harry and the Hermione uh, is pretty good and it's enough for me probably to open up the game periodically over the weekend. So there's not much we can do really in ways of tips, um, brew potions, trace tonics and obviously the stimulation etc we talked about earlier. Uh, also have a chat with your friends if you have energy issues, uh, make sure they gift you energy and that's about it really. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this kind of event. Um, yeah it's okay, I'm not going to say no to Harry and Hermione. Uh, I definitely need those vulnerables. Also don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at the Zillman. Uh, let me know how it's going for you during the event as well. I'm quite responsive on Twitter, but bear in mind I'm in the UK time zone. <laughs> so I may not be able to respond if you're especially on the west coast of the United States. So don't forget to claim your free energy either. You can claim that at any time, even if you're at cap. So until next time, brush up on your spells. Get your ones ready for the tonight.